Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm pretty excited to play today because I haven't played for a couple days. Um, this is a fresh recording session. I'm only going to be able to do the one, uh, which is a bummer. I really, truly regret not making this just like six hour stream sessions. It's not like anyone would have come anyway, so it's all good. It wouldn't have mattered, but um, I'm, I'm, I am enjoying this game. I know I, could, I, I whine a little bit, um, but uh, it's just because I, when things are not clear to me, that's when I, uh, I get frustrated. But I am really enjoying this game and I am really enjoying the story, various stories. Um, I'm a little bit, I don't know, weary. Um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about how, uh, like, you know, um, how, how much people come on to you and I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'm not a Puritan by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not exactly, uh, it's not something I enjoy in my game necessarily. So I don't know how I'm going to navigate that. Um, I'll probably just like be a very uh, straight shooter and just like turn down everyone, uh, every sexual advance and uh, just, you know, make my means to to progress the stories that matter to me. Um, if that's not how you want to the story to go, if that's not how you want to enjoy it, I definitely recommend there's a very various YouTubers that are all taking every opportunity to, uh, you know, do everything. <laughs> uh, I care more about the micro stories and uh, about advancing kind of character stuff um as well as the uh, the main plot um and i know that that is a sticking point but i'm not going to get into that anyway we're going to talk to Asterian. you know i never pictured myself as a hero you're never not thought i'd be the one they toast for saving so many lives and now that i'm here is it nice or no <laughs> i hate it this is awful really saving lives is awful I don't want to be a hero. I'm a pirate. <laughs> we killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Mm. Take his bottle and try the wine. It's a heavy, rich red dry and sharp see what i mean awful all i want is a little fun is that so much to ask well hold on i have many questions was killing the goblins not fun that had better not mean i want to kill something we killed a bunch of goblins what could have fun we could have fun we could spend some coal now see that's exactly what i don't want i want to avoid this What's your idea of a little fun? By the hells. Sex, oh. my dear. A night of passion. Wow, it's almost like I was just talking about you? this. Just to be clear. Okay, good. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. I mean... Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. What does that mean? What does that mean? I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet they could not match your nerve today. Hell of a hell it of a conversation starter. <laughs> what? A pity for us both you've turned your back on me so often. Um be as snide as you want, I'm not interested in you like that. So you say. But come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Okay. Um, we have stores now in our camp, which is kind of nice. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Oh. Go on. 
The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Well, I was just curious if you would, would be able to you sell stuff to me. Easy. Whatever, it's, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna do a long rest. Yeah. I was going to sing at the elf if the owner has any sense, they'll hire you on the I don't know why Lazelle is a glowing. I think it's because she's got that actual uh, astral like proficiency thing going on. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. Well, we have to go check out the crash. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. Oh. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Um, what do you suggest? You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Mm. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. You've seen it. We Aridon were there. And his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Yeah, there's a freaking beholder. Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Uh, I know the Underdark. It's lethal. The Underdark's my home. Better to take that route than risk this curse. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. Yeah. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. It seems like the balancing of the, uh, the voice acting is a little bit shaky here and there. Let's go then. Um, wait, you want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? Unfinished business and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, Perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Um, is that why you went with Aradin? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. What about the grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Who? Why couldn't Nettie take over? I need her to stay focused on her training. The grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Um. Won't this cause resentment? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. 
You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Let's get started. Okay. Two new journal updates available. Um, let me just check my... There's a couple things I want to check. First of all, uh, Ill illicit powers. Choose an area of your mind to evolve. Um, I just want to double check what I took here. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points. No, we didn't take that. We took concent concentrated blast. Force tunnel. Is this what I took? I think I took concentrated blast. Did I take psionic overload? These things should be available in my in my quick bar, but it doesn't look like they are. I have absolute power. Uh, I was gonna try and like see if I could take some new spells. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I, I'm I'm not doing that. Did I? I wonder if I didn't save last time when I took this. You must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If the target was concentrating, you heal as much as the damage that was dealt to it. Oh, I think I took this. Sacrifice hat? No, that doesn't make sense. Why would I take that? What did I take? Did I take any of these? Charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path 15 or 13 feet away from you. The first attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains a proficiency equal to your proficiency bonus. Okay, so apparently I didn't take any of them. So I have now taken this. You can use your connection to the parasite in your brain to force cultists of the absolute power uh, to, to obey you. Alright, well, I'm going to take this. Um, I guess I am doing this. I'm using this skill tree. It seems like a bad idea in general, but I guess we're doing it. Uh, I actually wanted to do some alchemy. Um, let me see here. What do we have? Well, we can do some potions. We have antidote. We could do a potion of healing. Uh, this doesn't... I, I don't know if this is a good use of our um, ingredients. Suspension of Murgrass. Oh, we can make grenades. But we I, I need fire amber. I need more stuff is what I'm 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 seeing, you know? Potion of mind reading seems like an interesting idea. Combine with essence to liberate this area extraction. Uh, true potential. Potion of Featherfall. any essence it, it still seems like i need more stuff more ingredients in general okay so we do have concentrated blast now um but uh so we need to be concentrating and then the opponent needs to be concentrating and then we will basically heal for that much seems like a really good power um my faith will guide me i'm assuming everyone shadowheart does not want to use mind flare parasites Keep your distance down. But uh, Asterion does. What about Lazel? What now? So this is Asterion. So d can Asterion? Uh... Oh, Asterion can also use Concentrated Blast. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know where this is going. It doesn't seem like a great place. Tbh. Seluna's dream. Gale can absorb. Uh, what does this do? Evocation cantrip. Uh, this seems like something that um, Shadowheart would make good Let's use of. She doesn't even have a necklace right now. Uh, mysterious artifact. We don't know about that. I, I need to do a little bit of uh, inventory management, but probably now is not the not the best time. Faith breaker that oh four to 13 damage this is 1d 10 plus 3 this was 1d 10 plus 3 uh it's the same thing okay 
that's fine some for somehow oh this is a plus one weapon enhancement nice uh scroll of greasus is fine absolute taps talisman's aid we got some cool stuff goblins drawing um let's just oh pouch oh this just has our like stuff we can throw our gold in there smoke powder bomb all right uh yeah let's let's break camp i've wasted enough time 15 minutes and we haven't even done anything yet we're gonna go to the crash um we're gonna check out uh lazel's whole dealy find the githyanki crash search uh for signs of a githyanki crash near the mountain pass in the northwest travel to the mountain pass so that sounds like we might be getting close to the cursed location you know one thing i i, I hate like complaining you know i know this is everyone's favorite game of the year uh and and all so you know that means we can't have any criticisms of it but there's a couple of things here and there that i, I really would um make sense to me Differently? Okay, hold on. Oh, this is a scrawny bugbear. I wonder if we can talk to them. It says we're just like we only have the option to fight them. But maybe, maybe I don't want to mess with them. I like bugbears. You know, it's like kobolds. Um, I really like kobolds. I think kobolds are in some way like the superior goblin. I love. Um, I love small conniving creatures as a as a baseline for a monster um i have a lot of fun with that and i you know i think that i i really appreciate like small and clever creatures um versus like a big bad <clears throat> or just like a big brute bugbears are great because they make for very good like um complementing creatures for kobolds uh, you know, because kobolds are clever and bugbears, you know, they are intelligent, but they're not necessarily as conniving. Um, they're a bit more brutish in nature. Now, what the heck is going on over here? This Something seems like a nightmare. Right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. I need a quick word. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath thick with blood. Almost gagging, you mutter a quiet prayer to your god. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The realization hits you. That stench wasn't the dead. You can sense that the hyena's very flesh is desecrated. Gnolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Hmm. Um. Cleric of Helm, Wisdom, Bless the Hyena. Uh, plus four Wisdom. Situational. We don't, I don't know if we have advantage. But we'll try. I've been seeing some memes about adding guidance to every role. And I, I kind of agree in some ways. It's, it's really funny that you can just add guidance to everything. Slowly, her broken body starts to calm to stop its wild contortions. She lies still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. Oh, uh, that did not please the rest of the hyenas. That's fine. Why are they running away? Okay, um, I guess, I'm assuming that doesn't work. Yeah, they must have, be intelligent. Okay, uh, we're not in sight here, so let's go ahead and hide and do a sneak attack. On the bloated hyena. Oh, these are going to become gnolls. Um, 
Um, we can do a charging attack, maybe? What is this? Animal friendship. Conditions ends early. Convince a beast not to attack you. Invalid target. 25% chance. Okay. Uh, I thought we had charging attack with, um, Blazel, but it seems like we don't. So I'm just going to move forward and then do a range attack. Which is not as good, but... Oh, that one's dead. We have advantage. Oh, wow. Nice hit. I'm assuming if... Uh, making a break for it. I'm assuming if we if we wait too long, uh, then uh, we will be fighting gnolls. Oh, look at that. There's some gnolls around the corner. I don't have too much experience with gnolls, I'll be honest. Heading there. Um, Seluna's dream. Oh, healing. An ally you touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a double-edged sword if ever I saw one. Oh, my God. Okay, just, I just want, I would like to be able to see all of our stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit that last one over there. I suppose we should, uh, fight this one over here. And now, um, that's going to be harder to achieve. Another fight. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, if we could do like Greece. The hyenas, hyenas, uh, hyena. Oh my God. Words are hard. Uh, is going to get to move before um, Asterion does. Warding, bond, uh, bless. Let's just do Sacred Flame. They saved against it. 60%. The old 60% strikes again. You know? Uh, so they have um, informed the gnolls. Of our presence and now they are in the combat that's fine i'm actually totally okay with that um tell you what this seems like a really good spot for some grease i was gonna like jump over this wall here because i was like oh that is a good hidey spot right there but no not the case let's find some prey we're gonna hide probably that is not gonna work for us but we'll see um i think saluna or sorry not saluna uh, shadow heart has an ability that gives us advantage on stealth checks so we'll see if we can make use of that uh i, I really do kind of wish we could ready attacks it's fine we can shoot for 40 percent oh can we do a hamstring shot oh perfect Nice. Oh God, I forgot about the last one there. Um, this uh, suddenly became very difficult. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. That's gonna ca- uh, is that a... Doesn't look like that's a level one spell. What is that? Is that just a cantrip? I'm going to cast this on Asterion um, and uh, hope that he does, you know, he, he gets away with this. We're also going to throw down our spiritual weapon. Um, let's do like a great sword. I don't think that it, it makes too much of a difference. And we're going to have that wait there um, for when hopefully these gnolls slip on the mud. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out our new attack, Absolute Power. I'll be right back. All right, um, yeah, let's, we're gonna try our Absolute Power attack. 85%, nice. Smacko. Save failed, Absolute Power. They are dead. Wow, that was really cool. Um, all right, let's see you guys slip in the, in the grease. Come on. Ah, uh, they saved. No, they didn't. 
<laughs> uh, all right, let's uh oh, What why are we not hidden? Do we still have advantage? Okay, we can hide Radio. And we're just gonna do can we hit this guy over here? We don't have advantage on that guy, so we can't do it. Let's just let's just kill the one on the ground. All right, that'll have to suffice. Seething fury. Oh, they can they have range attacks. Wait, what? Oh, they they're shooting the spirit weapon. Okay, that guy's got it. Okay, they they both have um, ranged attacks. Lazoon, Lazoon, Lazel. Um, I'm gonna have you hide behind this. I know it's not in your character to hide, but uh, it just seems to me like the thing to do. I guess they can see you from there. Um, what is this? Is that a flaming barrel? Fire wine barrel. Can we move that? Well, that was a mistake. That's fine. So they, this guy's gonna try and run through the grease. Soul numbed. Um, if a couple more were on the grease, I guess two are on the grease, so it's not bad. Uh, we could do a good old fire bolt on the grease. I think that'll work. Yeah, and that did do like one damage and now this is fire Summon a floating. Oh, uh, we don't want to do that. We, we still have a floating uh, to keep going. Weapon to you know work with here uh, What do we got weakening strike? I guess we can only do this once per short rest backbreaker Indestructible No pain no game. I had this toy when I was a kid and it was like one of these little kind of like plush dolls And it had a, a little thing inside So that like when you smacked it if it if it took like a if it shook, you know Violently the toy then it would uh, say a voice line and it only had three voice lines and the, the three voice lines were backbreaker indestructible no pain no game and I heard those three lines over and over and over and over because I would, you know, smack the thing around and that was the toy. 60%. Do you think we'll miss? Oh, we actually hit on a 60%. Color me surprised. Oh, that hyena is still alive. Okay, are we visible right now? Uh, we are. So let's um, back up slightly. And it shows me that this little square here is not visible, but, you know, please tell me that that doesn't look wrong to you, you know? We'll do it my way. We'll do it my way. All right. And Lazel's getting shot at. Oh, this guy's getting high ground. This guy's taking some fire damage. Seems I am maybe over leveled for Knowles. Okay, we're just gonna take a shot. Um, we'll take a shot at one of these guys and then we'll back up. I didn't. I didn't expect to hit, to be honest. I didn't even want to hit. I didn't even want it. Didn't even want it. Um, let's see here. Sacred flame, maybe. I, I like a good sacred flame Hmm, they saved against it Still breathing, despite everything. We haven't really taken any damage yet um, We can move out of the way. I think I just kind of want to do another sacred flame The problem with making environmental uh, You know damage you. stuff on uh, you know in the field is that I can't really work move in it without taking damage myself so the spirit weapon is going to do some damage to this guy. 55%. We missed. I didn't even want it. 
Ow. Critical hit. Damn. Uh, we are now visible. Can we jump, like, over there? Actually, let's move a little bit. Can we jump into this thing here? Doesn't look like I can get in that little crosshair there. Hmm. We're visible right now, so I can't really do anything. So I'm just going to shoot at this hyena. Good enough. And now we are not visible, so we may as well do a uh, sneak. You never know, we might be able to keep it. Wow, three shots, huh? Ow. Uh, okay, we can do a second wind. Is that an action? It's a bonus action. Uh, and we're gonna make our way over there. My path be true. Let's see. Is this action? Sir? That's once per action. Okay, or once per short rest. So we should actually use that as much as we can, or at least, you know, once per combat. If we know we're gonna have to do a short rest. Fifty percent. I I should start using something a bit better. Like firebolt. Yeah, that's better actually. Nice. Um, and can we do a healing word on tab? Nice. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. I uh, might want to start actually using some spells. Why don't we do a guiding bolt on one of these lads? Sixty-five percent. Let's t take the one that is like slightly damaged. Nice. That killed them. And we're gonna try and move. You'd think that I would have cover here, you know? Partial cover. Fly. Not enough movement. Can we get like partially there? I don't know how to like fly up. Like, I don't know how this works. I'd like to just like go up, you know, you know, just like just kind of go up, go up diagonally. This is the one thing that I think that Solasta actually does better. I know that's uh, maybe sacrilegious, but like flying made a bit more sense in Solasta. It just kind of treated the whole world as a as a 3D grid. And I think that that makes a bit more sense. So we're just going to have to move the spirit weapon that way. Um, Asterion is still hidden. Very good. So let's do a sneak attack on this guy. Can't have disadvantage. We're slightly outside of range. So we're going to move forward a little bit. What is that illusion that he's leaving behind? Blessing of the trickster. Oh, right. I, that's probably the blessing of the trickster. Um, and then we'll do a sneak attack on them. Can't have disadvantage. Shoot. Can we do a hamstring shot? Hmm. Well, I mean, there's an alternative path, but I think we should just, you know, take some shots. Miss. That's fine. We could do a misty step. Ooh, that misty step is actually amazing. I knew it was a good idea to put Misty Step on uh, Asteria. Not enough movement. Oh, I see. We need to like move, move into range. Okay. He might take some uh, hits from the Knoll. Nope. He's uh, very content uh, at shooting a uh, Tav instead. So, um, Lazel, Lazel, we're we're uh, also going to move forward. Yeah, I mean, 40%, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Shadow Heart, we're going to move her forward. And we'll do a Firebolt. 50%. Smacko. Come on, can't stay idle. Tav, um... 
feel like Tav should just heal himself. I know it's going to use a level one spell, but I'd rather do this than have to, you know, God damn it. Can we please not enough resources, movement speed. It's right there. You should just fly up there. There we go. It's silly because like I should it should just do that when I'm making a basic attack Okay, well we missed at a 60% you know the meme is is still very much real Sneak attack advantage you're dead Hyenas birthing gnolls how horrid Vile creatures nothing that's born of a corpse should be allowed to live I feel like the, that's got to be problematic in some way. Time to get going. So we got some hi oh hyena ear. These are uh, good for potions. Alchemist fire, very good. Uh, oil of accuracy, <clears throat> camper supplies, basic poison. These are all good. Take stuff for po potions. Bones are apparently not useful. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, you know, etc. Anything of use? Anything of use? Shipment orders. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open the chest. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, a hand crossbow. Well, um, I wonder if these gnolls have something to do with the open chest. These boots have seen everything. <laughs> oh, a pumpkin. Oh. Oh, look at all. Actually, like Yeah, you're going to you're going to have to forgive me. I am going to pick up stuff like this. And that's par uh, partially because of my paranoia that um, Solasta instilled in me, which is that if you run out of food, it's actually just really, really bad for business. So better to pick it all up than worry about it at all. Also, I saw people talking about like, oh, how do I organize my food at the camp? And I'm very much confused about that because why does it matter? You can just like do auto you know, like just auto select the food. I'm a little bit confused. Someone eviscerated those gnolls. It's rather beautiful. Wow, Asterian. <clears throat> I will say I kind of forgot who what <laughs> the original characters that I had rolled up for were i think i only rolled two because i thought that this our the second character the dream one was going to be a character that we roll with that we actually have in our, our companions but i seem to recall i rolled lazel and the dark pact or whatever the dark one and i don't know i haven't bumped into the the dark pact yet um but i i think i was maybe going to decide later who else i was going to have roll with us i kind of like shadow heart but um i'm open to suggestions it seems like maybe my group is even a little bit evil i didn't intend for that to be the case but it's it seems to be uh we have a rare auto save so mu something must be up in this town taking that potatoes mm, potatoes Lots of hyena ears. We should be able to make tons of uh, potions. I wonder if we can do that now. Yeah. Ashes of hyena ear. Cut it out. It's worse than gnolls out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Anything you give a dragon is bad guys. Oh. Something's on my mind. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. 
You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Mm hmm. Okay. Who or what attacked you? A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being straight out of the nine hells, hiding in the form of a one horned tiefling. Mm. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Save failed religion. Damn. Jesus. Okay. Um, where... Let me help you. I can hunt down this monster. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded. Not dead. Down the hill from here. Why does Shadowheart disapprove? She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. I guess this because they're the tiefling. Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. I'll think about it. May the just God guide you. You just gonna give me the sword based on a, I think I'll think about it. I mean, I'm cool with that, I suppose. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why? What's down there? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. This is a nice place to hole up in. What is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. Toll house means gold. Seen any around? There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. I'm hearing all kinds of noises over here. Let's have a quick look at that sword. Um, maybe someone can use it. Did I get the sword? I'm not seeing it. Maybe he didn't give it to me. No, he still wow. has it. How will I recognize her? She only has one horn. And she looks like she could rip your arms off with her bare hands. How to miss. You know, I think I have unfortunately been semi-spoiled who this character is. And I think they might actually be um, a companionable character. If they are, I might have them join me. I don't know. I'm really not sure what I'm doing with the, uh, the, the characters. I think I want Shadowheart. Um, which would make three if I get the Dark Pact. Oh, a soul coin. Wow. Who are you? Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. How many did you lose? Two. Both stalwarts of Tear. Sworn to uphold justice. What happened to you? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. Let's see what you have to trade. Um, okay. Let's go to trade. I do have a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of. Bunch of rings and stuff. Javelins. Rufflesome blaggart hat. Uh, what did I just accidentally sell? Did I sell? Okay, well... Oh, wow. The thieves' tools are really expensive, huh? How much money do we have? Doesn't seem like a lot. Um... Scroll of Charm... Per Might sell Expeditious Retreat. What have you got, though? Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level 1 spell slot. Replaces uh, effects from other elixirs when drunk. Oh, that's a potion. 
supply pack, acid vial. Hmm. We, uh, uh <laughs> Shadow Heart has nothing. Let's sell some stuff. I guess, uh, Asterion seems to have all the money. Infernal iron. Where did I get that? I wonder if that's a crafting material. Uh, rotten fish. We don't need that. Lazel, what do you got? Boots of striding. What is this? Zionide. Once per short rest, you can encase the target in fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. That seems kind of cool, actually. Um, Koromir's locket. Spider silk armor. Stealthy gain a plus one bonus to stealth checks. That seems really good for, um, Asterion. Min Minthera's at ease clothes. Oh, right. I didn't look at her equipment like at all. Drow leather gloves, Githyanki boots, mace, silver ingot. Okay, well, we're good. In Tia's name. Sure. In, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever his name is. Burlap sack. Rags, huh? Anything? There's one more? Nothing. Okay. Um, so there's supposed to be a staircase leading down somewhere. There's some stuff up here. I should check this out. This is where they, they would hide the good stuff. You know, they being the, uh, developers. I'm gonna guess that there's some decent stuff. Oh, well, there's food. There's four gold. Wow, don't knock yourself out there. Well, it's not over yet. There might be something. A battle axe. Trident. I should really take these things because they do sell. Padded armor, sure. More stuff up here. A barrel. Water. Water! Um, yeah, there's really not a lot going on here. Where is this staircase leading down? Oh, is it like... Wonder if I have to go down the ladder, if there's like a cellar door underneath the whole thing. Nothing there. Hmm. Now please go inside. Oh, there it is. Ornate wooden hatch. Let's go downstairs. Uh, oh, that body's so ripe. I'd need to drink the blood with a fork. Very, very fun. Dead toll collector. He's got a toll house ledger. Ledger containing details of a toll house takings for the current year, 1492 DR. Most entries are neatly written, listing the travelers and the amount of gold paid, but the text on the most recent page is smudged and rambling. Nine Marpanoth, four merchants with single wagon of sundries, 25 gold. Mar Twelve Mar Marpanoth, flaming fist company, 15 fists and gauntlet. Um, Urktar, road untenable, preparing to abandon post. Hmm. I don't know if that's particularly helpful. What was that? Padded armor. We'll sell it. Some food. Vault door. We'll definitely check that out in a second. 
basic poison antidote for said poison potion of invisibility we'll send that to Styrian. and yeah let's um let's very quickly give this spider silk armor i did unfortunately give um hmm take one less play yeah you know what this is still better this is much better for him Wow, uh, Asterion with armor somehow looks very wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and just like not do that. <laughs> Mintara's at ease clothes. Where where does that go? Oh, I see. It would go on his like actual clothing. I don't know. I'm good. Uh, food uh long sword pick that up for selling rags studded shield you'll have to forgive me for going through every chest you know sometimes you find some cool stuff for like a, a potion of invisibility i mean um i wouldn't say like in this universe it seems like magic items are kind of in abundance so stuff like that isn't super rare but it's still better to have it than you know have it and not need it, then need it and not have it, kind of deal. Okay, Styrian, go ahead and oh, log pick and possible. Interesting. Why is it impossible? Do we did we run out of? Uh... No, we have these tools. Impossible, huh? Hmm. Uh, Lazel, try uh, try a good old smack attack didn't mean to do that what can i do for you eager for battle why are you using your ranged weapon there we go go ahead and break it down perception failed well um there definitely seems to be some stuff going on here still alive so that's progress. I'm assuming that's a trap. Step carefully. There's a trap. Yeah. Um. Can we go ahead and disarm that? I'm not even gonna add guidance to that. I don't think we get anything for oh that. Dear. Someone's left a trap out for. I'm not sure if doing this actually uses up a trap disarm kit. I don't think so. Doesn't seem to anyway. That's curious. It says we have three of them. I think maybe we only lose one if we fail to check. Yeah, we still have three of them. Okay, so what do we got here? A large bottle? Let's get going. Large bottle of what? We don't know. Some stuff. Burrow hole, huh? I'm way too big. So I did find out, unfortunately, I am watching like one streamer play, but only the stuff that I've already done. That if you can turn into an animal um, as a druid, then you can make use of those, the, the you know, oh, I'm too big to fit in that hole, Dealy. Um, that'll be my second playthrough. I don't know if I'll be doing a second series uh, of this. You know, the the first one, this one is, isn't really... Uh, you know getting too much attention which is fine i i don't do you know everything on my channel just to grow the channel sometimes i have to do things for me as well um like i've been playing mountain blade 2 and i don't think that there's much call for that for a series but uh and then i don't even think it would be all that entertaining but you know what i mean like uh it doesn't matter to me how how many views like all of my series gets it really doesn't um but 
Um, you know, if the series did do well, I would be I would consider doing a second playthrough with different characters. We are encumbered. I mean, we can uh, send some of the stuff to camp. Add to wares. I don't know. You have a personal chest that camp. Use it to store items you don't want to carry. I don't know if like adding to where is sent to camp does anything. Like I'm not sure if that lets us uh, sell it from our camp, for instance. Potion of feather fall antidote. Always take antidote. Everyone should have an antidote on them. Okay, Assyrian. I'm actually gonna have you just go Speak ahead. Likely. And uh, wow. Okay. Never mind. You don't see the traps that are like right in front of you, right? There's a trap. You guys are just playing with fire, huh? Oh. Critical fail, huh? I'll use an inspiration for that. I know it's a probably a complete waste to use inspiration on that, but I really don't want to deal with whatever this is. I should have checked to see, um, perception fail. Syrian, can you get it together? There are traps about. Wow, we barely made that check. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. I crave violence. Step carefully. There's a trap. Master. I crave blood. Okay, I've got a long we're good. Um, glad I broke down that door. Marcember ice wine, very nice. Ink pot, don't care. Stack of books, stack of books, nothing, nothing going on there. More bronze ingot, send to camp. Send to camp. There's like two layers of locked doors to get into this room and in a bunch of traps, there better be something in here. Really, you guys are really gonna make me earn it, aren't you? This Now you guys know why this episode is, is uh, aptly named the vase case. That's, I, I'm not gonna remember to call it that. I'm not going to remember to call it that. It's a good name, though. Oh, my God. Look at how many vases there are. I, ca I can't help but check them all. Hmm. Hmm. Rotten eggs. Hat. There's definitely a uh, secret door here. Click. Click, click. Oh, I What's see. I, I see. We need... Uh, Two people to sit in both chairs. Can't give up now. There we go. What a day. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Sleight of hand. Is that going to disarm the whole thing? It doesn't look like it. No time to rest. Um, Lazel, can you please give us a lend us a perception check here? Since no, never mind. Blood. All right, let's just hope that the it's already open. We don't need. Oh God, damn it! Be wary. This place is trapped. Well, Asterion's trapped in there now. Uh, uh, figuratively and literally. At least things have stayed interesting. And he is dying of poison. Take heed. 
Y'all really love running into traps, don't you? Like, it's your favorite pastime, basically. Okay. Gilded chest. Ooh, a great axe. Wait, don't, don't, uh... I mean, we don't need a great axe. Oh my god. I keep making this mistake, don't I? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. We're gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna go ahead and, um... Pick up and add to wares. Same with this. Great sword. Look at all the weapons and stuff. I find it very difficult to actually, like, click certain things. Oh, look, a gold. A glaive. Pick up and add to wares. Um, potion of healing is worthwhile. Potion of greater healing is very worthwhile. Bronze necklace. We got some... It was actually worth it. I will say. It was worth it. Gloves of heroism. Warding hands. When you use your channel oath spells, you gain heroism. I don't know what that means. But it sounds like something that Tav would maybe use. Metallic gloves. Add to wares. Add to wares. Add to wares. Add to wares. <laughs> Now you know why this episode was called, uh, Swear on Me Wears. I don't know. A pleasurable deal. Don't know if there's anything of value there, except for just beautiful writing. You know, like, that's, uh, of course, every time. I wonder if these vases are worth anything. Like, I, can I pick up the vases and sell them? Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I know we didn't really accomplish all that much, but I did find some treasure. And you know what? Sometimes the uh, treasure is the treasure we found along the way. And, uh, you know, an enough said, I think. <clears throat> if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.